Welcome to Inquisitive. It has been an amazing journey, eight episodes now, and this is the final one where we have been honored to host the uh, chief, the Kenya's chief of defense forces, General Robert Kiboshi. And uh, in this section, uh, really, is uh, we will give the opportunity to the general to give us uh, his heart-to-heart uh, -heart insights, his final word uh, on this series, and also to share some some tips that he feels are important for any emerging leader in technology or within the defense space to 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 know or to to grasp. Thank you very much, General, and welcome. Thank you. So, what insights uh, might you have for for technology entrepreneurs or practitioners within the technology space? I, I uh, as, a, as a last word, I think one thing as leaders, we have to uh, embrace technology. Um, we, we have no option, really, because technology is not going anywhere. Technology is going to be is here with us, is going to continue evolving. It, it is for us as leaders uh, to embrace it and to ensure that we develop our people uh, to be able to uh, to internalize the technology uh, into our uh, institutions. Secondly, is that we have to take innovation very seriously. Uh, one of the key uh, challenges, obviously, many institutions are facing is budgetary constraints, and for good reason, because uh, there are many demanding uh, interests across uh, institutions, and therefore, we can bridge the gap uh, by having innovative ideas uh, into, into our systems. From a leadership perspective, I think uh, I would uh, close by uh, saying that uh, as leaders, as we deal with uh, this generational change, we have to be open to ideas. Um, the young uh, generation are coming in with very brilliant ideas uh, that uh, most of us uh, of all the generation might find intriguing. But I think it's important to be open-minded um, and to be good listeners because that's the only way we're going to be able to uh, reap uh, as much as we can uh, from, uh, from, 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 from this young generation. Lastly, is to be optimistic. I believe that um, uh, we have to be optimis optimistic. Uh, particularly as uh, we grow into the various ranks in institutions, we always have to see the glass as half full uh, all the time. Uh, it is not always that there's going to be adequate resources, uh, but there is always an opportunity for us to leverage uh, on, on other uh, capabilities to deliver the effect. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. So as a, as a, as, as a as a recommendation, Bona CDF, uh, what, what books are you reading currently? Any book that you would want to recommend either to the soldiers within the military or to other people who, who would be listening to this show? <laughs> right, thank you very much. The first book that I'm reading, uh, and, uh, and I started reading this book, in fact, I was given this book by the Air Force Commander, uh, General Ogola, and he said to me, Sir, now that you become the CDF, I want you to read the memoirs of... Uh, General Colin Powell. Uh, he has written a book on, uh, on himself. Uh, and the book is called My, My, My American Journey. Uh, and a journey that takes him uh, from uh, Jamaica uh, to his parents immigrated to America. And, and for him to have grown uh, in life to become the chairman of the Joint Chiefs, which is equivalent to the CDF. Uh, and in retirement, becoming the, uh, the National Security Advisor uh, of President Reagan is something intriguing. Uh, so it's a great book uh, that has a lot of insights uh, on, on leadership, exactly what we are speaking about. Okay. So any other book? The other book uh, is a book that um, uh, I, I, I got uh, to, 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 to see that uh, speaks to a number of issues. It's called The Art of Action. The Art of Action is about uh, how leaders are able to close gaps between plans, actions, and results. And, and exactly, I think, speaks to what we are saying, that how do you, how do you close gaps? 
uh, between your planning, uh, your plans, your actions, and what you intend to achieve. And I think it speaks to the issues of innovation, uh, leveraging on technology. Uh, and this, to me, are critically important. Okay, then. Okay. Okay, then thank you very much thank for, you. for your time and for your insight. You've been very generous with, with your story. So that brings us to the end of, of this episode and also the end of the Inquisitive Series 360 Tech Leadership. Thank you very much and uh, we hope that uh, you will learn as much as we have and apply uh, what you have learned. Thank you so much. Asante sana.